Gitana or Gitana Adele, whichever way you choose it. So I didn't plan on turning the camera on today, but we're just popping out to Cheshire Oaks in Cheshire. It's like a designer outlet, but they have the best restaurants there. Um, and I just thought, what, what if? <laughs> Because I didn't... Did I rant about the Five Guys situation? So I went... Okay, I went to Five... This is like a whole backstory, so I'll just cut it right down really quick. This is a bit of a, a, bit of a moan about Five Guys. You are way behind on the, the vegan, vegetarian thing. And don't at me with, it's a burger place. I fucking know. But there are people who just... See, for me, it's not even like a not an animal thing like so, I mean that is part of it but I just don't like me I just I just honest to god don't never have not as a child so I like want something else to eat right I'm five guys but it's bright I'm sorry it's bright um five guys just don't put it I mean even McDonald's have now taken the lead with a vegan option come on really you're known for like burgers and the but your fries are bomb though anyway so we went to the traffic center um a while back and i was really pissed i i copped a load of attitude for this woman when i ordered the vegetarian meal and it sorry vegan meal and it wasn't vegan at all and it's got like cheese on it it was just gross it ended up being like salad with nothing because i said i didn't want the cheese so it was basically salad on a, a wet bun it was nasty the fries were epic so I'm like I was I think I tried to vlog it at the time don't know where the footage went I didn't have my channel going at the time um, but I was already filming things for ready for when I started my channel anyway so I'm like ranting onto the camera still in the restaurant and then this woman behind the counter because I'd gone up three times to say look is this like literally all I mean for the amount I've paid for this is this is this all you've got to offer this isn't a vegan option and she was just so effing rude she remade it and oh, it just went on like and the, the the wet onions she put in that had been boiled she put those in and it was just uh, it was getting worse and worse and she had a real attitude with me and I was being nice and then this lady came over and she was super, super, super nice. She's like, hey, she saw me talking to the camera. She's like, is everything okay? I'm like, uh, nah, it's okay, don't worry, I've dealt with it. She's like, what happened? I heard something about, so I told her the whole thing. She was a worker, she was like you know, cleaning the floors and the tables. And it turned out she was the manager. So I told her the story and she's like, okay, who was rude to you? And I pointed her out and she's like, right, I'll deal with that. She said, um, have you been offered your money back or replacement? I said, no, I just got a lot of attitude. This woman was amazing, amazing. And she, um, she got me a full refund immediately. And I said, well, I paid on my card. She gave me cash anyway, no questions asked. She offered me another meal. Um, I said, no, honestly, it's okay because I can't. She then gave us as well as the full refund for both meals and his was fine. Uh, he had just like a, like a regular burger or whatever. Um, not only did she get hold on someone's like going into our lane while we're driving here you gotta love those sunday drivers so she was brilliant she was so good it's so sad how they can get one employee who is shit and then you get but luckily she was the manager and she was having none of it she was just great and i didn't even have to ask for her or approach her she was like listening looking out she was on the ball she also gave us two um meal free meal like vouchers for five guys so we've just realized we're heading to cheshire oaks and there is a five guys so this one like i said happened in the trafford center in manchester but we're now going to we've just arrived at cheshire oaks and we're going to go try again i'm going to try it again i'm going to try the burger and see what the deal is with it see if anything's changed to see if it's still as crappy but you know i'm prepared this time that the voucher may well go to waste for me although i will eat the fries maybe if i can um but yeah so let me just reiterate that but again the one in manchester in the traffic center the manager was amazing the rest of the staff especially the woman in question what a bitch. I'd love to say it some other way, sugarcoat it, but I really can't. She was an utter bitch. Um, 
So let's see what happens with this one. It's going to be interesting. Oh, there it is. That's the Chiquito. Let me tell you. I think it's Chiquito. I'll make sure. No, it's not. It's Las Iguanas. Iguanas? This one here in Cheshire Oaks. I'm just going to... There you go, that one there. Did you see it? I think it's igua iguanas. Is that the first one? No, second. That place has the it has the lead on everywhere when it comes to vegetarian and vegan. I went in there not expecting much as usual, and I was given an entire vegan menu. Guys, an entire flipping menu for vegans and vegetarians. It was brilliant. I didn't just sit there and think, oh, you know, what two or three things can I pick off the menu? I had a whole choice and the food was brilliant. It was so tasty. It was amazing. So yeah, that is an absolute recommend. We may go there. I don't know, but the plan is to go to Five Guys and see what happens there. Um, but this, again, this is just from a vegan point of view. This is nothing to do with the burgers in general. The food is so nice. That's what I hear from everyone anyway, um, but they suck they absolutely suck when it comes to vegan um well that's it i'm rambling on now so i don't know what this day is going to turn into i didn't plan on vlogging at all today but there you go they end up being the best usually so we'll see what happens um okay so we're in super drug on the cheshire oaks um we're just looking at all the mua and revolution Um, and this, we were looking at everybody's palettes and Donovan here always watches with me, watches everybody's tutorials, especially so. And Soph's palettes here on the I Heart Revolution. Donovan, just come with me a minute. Do it this way. So, was this one, right? Yeah, yeah. So we pick up this or Donovan. I show Donovan this one and go, oh, look, it's Soph's palette. And he's like, oh, yeah, Sophie Snails. Yeah, Sophie Snails. <laughs> Sophie, I'm sorry. That's what the name looks like on the screen. It's Sophie, Sophie Snails. Because when he watches, you, you just thought it said Sophie Snails. Well, if you read it quickly, it says Sophie Snails. Okay, so, so your palette, Sophie Snails. <laughs> um, I might get this and try it. Oh my goodness, the lashes, the nails, I am just like lost. I literally needed some lashes, but I love these. They're good when you're in a bind and you need to throw on some nails really quick. I can't make a decision, I'm going to be here all day. Look, they're so pretty. I've had these ones, I've had those. And the little jewels. Little jewels, you have to excuse I'm filming with my phone. The little jewels that come with them, they're so pretty. And can I just say again, what is the duo? <laughs> there it is. Duo, are you ready for that sponsor yet? <laughs> Look, my ride or die. Duo glue. What's this one? This one is quick set. Okay, so that's a very quick setting one. This is an absolute no for me. I've tried this one, so sorry, it did nothing. Now lashes, guys. How am I possibly supposed to? You see, earlier on I used to take the um, smaller lashes and they were fine, but I noticed as I'm going on, I'm preferring the bigger lashes, like the real dramatic ones. Um, so I want dramatic ones. <laughs> um, I like a full one. I started off with wispies, and if you've never put lashes on before, I would advise starting off with wispies because they're super easy to put on. There's no messing, really. Oh, what about the, oh my goodness, the price though. Guys, $9.99. My camera work sucks. Um, this is, I don't know, I like the look of those. But these are mink. I think they mink, that's why these ones cost more. Oh, look, for the first time ever. So sorry, but you guys are still there. 
first time ever. I've never seen a car turn up with, with a male. That's nice to see. It's all the rest of the email. We have one now. Weird. I don't know who it is. It's Ardell of Collab with Danny. Anyway, I'm sure you guys all know who he is, but I don't. But well done, Superdrug. Or Ardell, rather. I don't know which one's to I just don't. Guys, look at these. Look at these cute nails. Are they not the cutest little nails? I don't know if these were from the pride section or if they're just bright for summer, but they're so cute. And they're very affordable too. Awesome. Yeah, they're $3.99. I don't know which lashes. Okay guys, we're inside of Five Guys and as you can see, I have my drink, a raspberry coke. I have my order. The guys, so far, although they are looking obviously the right time we stopped filming. But I'm facing this way so no one can see anyway. What a stark contrast to the other one, you know. It really, I don't know, I've not tried the food yet, but just already the one at Cheshire Oaks, the customer service is already a lot better. But I will say this. So we've used our free vouchers, we've got our meals, the craziness of the price of them, which obviously we knew when we were eating there, like last time. But if you'd have seen, I'm so sorry I didn't keep that footage, if you'd have seen what they presented to me for the price, because one meal, oh my gosh, here goes, how embarrassing and one, one meal, like 17 pounds, and for the veggie meal, that's like 13, 14 pounds. Guys, what? But uh, so far the customer experience here, I thought we were going to have trouble and they'd be like, no, you can't spend it here because this was like months back that this happened in the Trafford Centre. Um, yeah, customer, customer service here has been great, but I will still say this. My food has just arrived and I'm going to show you Donovan's still lined up with his fries. I already know a bomb. So they come and they'll cut like this, and now I'm not doing a mukbang bang, whatever you call it, because I think eating on camera is effing gross. Um, so I am definitely gonna. These are like amazing. And they literally they throw a ton of fries into it, which I love because you literally get double the fries. And my burger. Are we ready for the burger? Because the burger is literally. What? This is what caused the problems last time. Should we see what we've got? Honestly, it cannot. I can already see the onions are warm. Um, they're not watery, there's something in them. Just let me, okay. So here's the thing I wanna say. It's called, it's called a veggie sandwich, all right? It's the exact same thing. Okay, and when I complained to the woman at the first one, like, are you really charging me this much for a bun and some so soggy salad? I'm not gonna lie, the exact same thing has happened with this one. It is completely soggy bread. Completely soggy onions. It's happened again, babe. Hmm? It's happened again. It's I tomato. Mean, that's, yeah, that's their version. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that is as it is. You see, you get tomatoes, onions. That is it. There's no pate with it. There's no. Uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, I did opt out of the cheese, but still, are you fucking kidding me? It's. Let me just say this much, five guys. It's like a total piss. It's piss poor when you're coming down to like veggie options. And I know, and I said before, don't come at me and say, oh, it's a burger joint. I know that. But other burger joints offer veggie options you can sit with your husband or your partner or your friends and eat, right? So, the way you cater for vegans, five guys, you fucking suck. You utterly suck. That is pathetic and that is not worth the money. Thankfully for me today, this was free and the, uh, I got no attitude from the staff. They were lovely. So based on that note, like I said, it's not a mukbang, so I'm going to go and enjoy my fries. See you guys later. Okay, so five guys. This is what I'm telling you about now. Look at this. You have mushrooms and you do have cheese, but if you're vegan, you can't have it. Lettuce, mushrooms, a shit ton of soggy onions and this bun is soaking wet because of the onions and two slices of the tomato. There's nothing in there. That is the veggie option. Um, and it's all falling apart because the bread is so 
wet, it's all falling apart. So um, this isn't the staff's fault here. This is your fault. The, the staff work with what they've got. This is what they've got. Bye guys, I'm calling you out on it. It's bollocks. Put your fries up on. But this is bollocks. Okay? See you later. We're done with that. That is like I said inside, there's not much more to say. Is what it is. The staff work with what they've got. And you know what? It, it was crap, but it, it's what they've got to work with, so it wasn't their fault. They were friendly. So, five guys in Cheshire Oaks, thumbs up from me. That was a better experience, even though your food is utterly shit. Now, on to the next thing. So, we're gonna go now on to. Um, I'm not sure, so I got my. I came for lashes. What else did I want to come for? Oh, didn't you say these guys are also doing vegan now, Chiquito? Yeah. Okay, so right across the road, now in fact this is exactly what I was explaining about the competition with these guys not doing anything and then right across the road they're having Chiquito with a big vegan menu board outside. Guys, literally, guys, it's like the play on words there. That is insane because it's, it's right there opposite your venue. Up your game, right? I swear I'll shut up about it in a minute. So here we go, on to the next place. If you've not been to Cheshire Oaks, it's actually really nice. There's a big view, IMAX Cinema right there. And there's restaurants. You can pan around, see what there is. This is just the food area. Okay, so that's just the food and entertainment area. The shops or the outlet shops, like, there are different roundabouts this way, this way, and this way. And that's where we're going to head off to now. Okay, see you in a bit.